action. Go. We're going to make the best amp killer that there probably is. Now we're using boric acid. This usually comes in an unmarked type white container. You can get it at a pharmacy. And in our area, you cannot get it in, at in you cannot get it at a pharmacy anymore. You can only get it in the pest control at the hardware store. Ace, Home Depot, etc. So, first what we're going to do is mark our containers that we're going to use as poison. Poison. Okay. We're even going to mark the spoon. So nobody uses this. All right. We're using one teaspoon of sugar, table sugar. And then we're going to use one squirt of hot shot or ant poison, boric acid. It's boric acid, no matter what it's called. Okay, one squirt. I did a little more than one squirt. And then we're going to put a little bit of water. I think I put too much in. And stir it up. You're going to make a liquid or a paste. You really want it to be a paste, but you have to stir quite a bit. Oops. And if you spill, remember it's poison, so you want to Make sure you clean it up. It has sugar because the ants are gonna crawl from all the neighbors. They're gonna turn this, your whole, uh, all your stuff that they can take into black ants or whatever color you have. And they're going to carry it back to the queen. And therefore, they all, the whole colony will eventually die. But they're going to come from the neighbors. They're gonna come from all over, so don't be surprised. It's kind of fun watching it all turn black when they come and get it. So I use a Gatorade lid, a, a large Gatorade lid or medium, whatever you want to call it. And then I pour a little bit into the Gatorade cap. Some people use an index card or a piece of, of uh, paper. And it's a liquid now, but it's supposed to be, it's better if it's a paste. And then you just go and put it in, you, I like to put this inside the cabinet where the ants and, I mean, the ants can find it, the pets cannot and children cannot. So you put it right there and close this up. I also put the leftovers in there too. And just leave it. It eventually dries up and uh, then you have to make another batch. And this one would be fine outside in a place where cats are not going to go and get it. It should be, like I said, a lot thicker than this, like a paste, but I just put too much. So I hope that everybody uh, learns from that and has great success and fun watching all the ants come and get it. And oh, here you can see that this is like more like a paste because the liquid's gone. So you're just gonna see the granules of the boric acid.